Yeah, we're going to do the undercut for the Glock. My 26 frame, GN5. I might make it into a 33 or something. I'm not sure yet. I got some plans for this. So we're going to do a little undercut. I just started the line right there. Got the drum on. Show them the burn powder and show them the cutting. Yeah, so when you're, when you're doing your Dremel, this is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. When this you use a stone, it cuts it up. Yeah, that's burning. So the plastic polymer is burning over here. Makes it faster, it but cutting. highly not recommended. Exactly. Once you do this, you're going to have to go back in with the same and clean up a lot. But exactly. It makes the job faster. It does make it faster. Just smoothing it out right now, making it even, doing the undercut, and then we'll sand it down. Damn, look at that. All the... Yeah, man, this is, you gotta clean up after you do the undercut. Look at all that. Oh, dust. Lock fairy dust. Jesus. Oh yeah. Look at all that right there. Damn. That's crazy. Right, here's the update. This is uh, almost the final product. I'm just sanding it down, getting all the gouges out. You can see a lot more gouges on camera, but that's the undercut. So I wanted to go as thin as possible. Have a little hump right there. So now I gotta do is just bring the sandpaper and smoothen it out, get all the, the scratches and gouges out. Looks a little ugly right there right now, but it'll get a lot better. Not bad. Come down. Make it a little smoother, just hit it with some sand, sandpaper, some fine sandpaper. Wet sand it, dry sand it, you know, get the grooves and scratches out, make it nice and smooth, but that is as thin as you can go. Can't go any thinner than that, dude. That shake fits right under there, like, perfectly. Like, see? Perfectly. Even with my left hand, that's crazy. Wait a little more. Follow me for more. Come on. <laughs>